Hey everybody, how's it going? I had a subscriber named Jonathan Husner. Sorry dude, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, uh, he suggested in one of my uh, uh, videos that I should uh, talk about the FRA and its importance. And I replied to him that I wouldn't have anything flattering to say about the FRA. The FRA, in my opinion, is another bloated, mismanaged, inefficient, government agency, just like all the rest of them. And uh, I really, I have nothing flattering to say about the FRA. The FRA uh, ha has a tendency to hire uh, very poor, and, and I can only speak for the signal department. Um, I don't really know any, uh, I, I know a few of the track uh, FRA guys, but and not very many, and I don't know any FRA people for train service. But the FRA and, and the California Public Utilities Commission, the PUC, both have a tendency to hire people that aren't good signalmen. Uh, the guy who was my uh, FRA inspector down on this end for the last 15 years, 16, however long it was, uh, the guy was an idiot. He... He knew nothing. It was obvious every time he came out to do inspections that someone had told him that on this inspection we want you to look at this because he would just look at that and he would overlook obvious things that were wrong that we'd go to a location and I'd see that and I'd think, oh my God, I can't believe this guy didn't fix this talking about the maintainer. And he walked right over it, walked right by it, wouldn't notice it. He wasn't very good with prints. Uh, he took a lot of pictures uh, camera took pictures of everything and I found out through other sources that he took those pictures so that at night when he went back to his room he could send those pictures to some of the people who did know what they were talking about and they could tell him if things were okay or if we needed to have a, a violation written on us. Uh, same with uh, some of the equipment. He was never sure if the equipment was installed right and, and his he always said, oh, I just, you know, I just like to take pictures of everything so I have a record. It was so he could show it to somebody else and see if it was okay. Uh, he wasn't a smart guy. I don't, I don't know how he got through signal training in his early days. It was, a lot different. it was a lot different when I was there, too. Some people might not know how I got through it. But, uh, and I'm not saying that all the FRA guys were like that. Uh, my guy that was up on my northern end uh, was a younger guy. He was spot on. He knew what he was doing. He was a very, very smart guy. And there were times that I had uh, questions about something, whether or not I was gonna, would, would be allowed to do something, whether it was legal under the FRA. And I would just call him and say, hey, I want to do this. Can I do that? And he would uh, go over it with me and let me know either yes or no. And if uh, what I needed to do to, to do to make it okay. Very good guy. Easy guy to get along with. The other guy that the dumb guy. He wasn't easy to get along with. Uh, he was very arrogant, as most stupid people are, and uh, most stupid people with a good job. And uh, I just, there were a lot of things that uh, the FRA did that I thought were um, unnecessary. A lot of, I mean, we need, the Fed, I should say, it's the Federal Railroad Administration is the FRA. And and uh, you would think, talking to some of these FRA people, that they wrote these rules, that the FRA wrote these rules. But the simple fact is that, that people who work for the railroad are the people who staffed the FRA. And over the years, there were obviously some good people who worked in the FRA and wrote these rules. Uh, and there were, it was also obvious that there were people who were petty. And uh, it and, and, and some of the minutiae that were involved in, in the FRA uh, rules, were, it, they were ridiculous. They were, uh, uh, I don't know, prohibitive in, uh, prohibitive in meaningful ways. I, I don't know how else to explain it. <laughs> not being a, if you're not a signalman, you wouldn't understand what I was trying to say, but uh, things could get uh, pretty petty out there. Some guys were petty, some guys weren't. Uh, 
some you might have a guy a, a gate light that's not working because the wire got broke and they'd say hey that light's not working you go out and fix it and they're good with that uh, some of these guys like the dumbass FRA guy would uh, go out there and say hey that light's not working you say oh this wire that's broke fix the wire and he still writes you up for it it's not that it's not that it didn't need to be fixed, but it did, did it really need to be written up? Uh, that brings you to the attention of your managers and your directors, and uh, a broken wire isn't your fault. I mean, if a wire breaks, if a car brushed up against a gate and broke the wire on the tip light, or for whatever reason, a wire just corroded inside and you can't see it through the plastic, it's not your fault. But it comes to the attention, and and a lot of the managers and directors at Union Pacific, anyway, are not understanding of that. They see that that violation is there, and they want to know what happened. You try to explain it to them, they don't care. Uh, you're not going to get fired over it. You're not probably not even going to get written up over it. But you got to put up a crap about it, and it's and it's just it's wrong in my opinion. But uh, these uh, FRA regulations, they do need to be there. They define the uh, they define everything that gets done, how tests are performed, when something should fail, when it shouldn't fail. But these weren't written by the FRA. But if you're talking to an FRA guy, he thinks he wrote the whole book. <laughs> well, a lot of them do. Uh, the PUC, it's the same way. In 2005, I went down to Los Angeles and uh, tested for a PUC job. The PUC guys do almost exactly the same things that the FRA guys do. And the past, the PUC only uh, concerned themselves with crossings, but I don't remember when it was, they started doing all the same things the FRA did. And sometimes we would do joint inspections where both guys were there. Uh, it was ridiculous, it was wasted, it was a waste of government money. Um, the FRA could have just sent those reports to the PUC. And uh, back to when I went down to LA that time, it was in 2005, and so I went to Los Angeles. There were three of us there. And you took a, a, a written exam that took about, it was about an hour and a half. And then you took a, a, an oral exam where they asked you questions and you uh, about a situation, uh, some sort of an event, and you uh, told them speaking what you would do to address that. And uh, I didn't find it difficult. I'm not okay with speaking to people. I'm not nervous or anything. And uh, they they rated you. I mean, one, two, three. One was the best, two was the middle, and third was last. And they sent me that ring. They didn't tell me how anybody else did, but I was number one. And they hired somebody else. They hired this other person. And uh, I didn't, I wasn't upset about it, because at that time I still didn't have my 30 years in uh, with uh, Union Pacific or with the railroad. So I was kind of hesitant to leave prior to that, getting my full retirement benefit after 30 years. So I don't know if I'd have went anyway. And then uh, about two years later, our PUC, our PUC guy uh, comes up with the guy that finished second. He told me, and I knew what the order was. I, I knew this guy real well. And he said, hey, this is so-and-so. You remember him? And I looked out and I said, you guys really don't want to hire the best people, do you? And that is the problem with government agencies. Uh, they, the uh, FRA found out through my guy up north that I had uh, applied to the, or that I had tested for the PUC, and they asked me to go test for the FRA. But by that time, I had decided that I was just going to stick with what I was doing. And, uh, but that's, that's the way government agencies work. They're not efficient. They don't always pick the best people. And uh, I know that in the case of the PUC where I was, I know why they picked that other person first. I'm going to mention it here because it's, it's irrelevant, especially now. But it was a political decision. And that is a big problem with government agencies. They become political. They use uh, political popular themes to uh, staff their agencies. And they don't, rarely do they get the best people. But uh, anyway, the uh, FRA, I don't know, 
When I was a maintenance foreman, I did uh, switch inspections once a year, with or without the FRA, with or without my manager. And I had the maintainer with me, and then I, had, I did random inspections at switches and crossings and signals, making sure everything was okay. Uh, I realized that not everybody does that, and that is why they have FRA people coming out, because not everybody can be counted on to, to do those inspections. I always considered it part of my job. And uh, it was part of my job. I guess I should say that there are other people who seem to think that it wasn't part of theirs. But uh, I would make those inspections, make lists, give them to the maintainer, give them to the manager, and those things needed to be taken care of. And uh, I just never felt like I needed the FRA out there uh, swimming in my soup, but they always did anyway. So Jonathan, that's what I got to say about the FRA. Uh, if you're someone who works for the FRA, uh, I hope you're doing your job correctly. I hope you're putting your best foot forward. I hope you're, uh, I hope you're one of the good ones. And if you're not, I have no sympathy for you. Uh, that's all I got to say, man. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content. As usual, if you have any ideas... Uh, let me know. I'm still waiting for my shoulder surgery. It is August 25th, so I still got another week to wait for that, so I might go out and shoot some more videos, but shoot me some ideas. Shoot me your ideas and your comments about this, as I said, and, and we will see you all later, but not on an FRA inspection.